Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. John 8, 12, you know the rest. Uh, I'll be honest with you. This Well, this is Ezekiel 45, the continuation of the Ezekiel series. But this uh, Levitical-type temple worship stuff, it doesn't do much for me. But I said I was going to do the series, so I guess I'll go through it and get it done. But... Uh, yeah, there's just a lot more things that I consider more important, but uh, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, I'm almost done. I'm more than 90% done, about 90% done with the Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter. So let's knock it out, I guess. Verse 1. Moreover, when you shall divide by lot the land for, in, in, for inheritance, ye shall offer an oblation unto the Lord and holy portion of the land. The length shall be the length of five and twenty thousand reeds, and the breadth shall be ten thousand. This shall be holy in all the borders thereof round about. Of this there shall be for the sanctuary 500 in length and with 500 in breadth, square roundabout, and 50 cubits roundabout for the suburbs thereof. And of this measure shalt thou measure the length of five and twenty thousand, and the breadth of ten thousand, and it shall be the sanctuary and the most holy place. The holy portion of the land shall be for the priests, the ministers of the sanctuary, which shall come near to minister unto me, and it shall be a place for their houses and an holy place for the sanctuary. And the five and twenty thousand of length and the ten thousand of breadth shall also the Levites, the ministers of the house, have for themselves for possession for twenty chambers. And you shall appoint the possession of the city five thousand broad and five and twenty thousand long, over against the oblation of the holy portion, it shall be for the whole house of Israel. And a portion shall be for the prince on the one side, and on the other side of the oblation of the holy portion and of the possession of the city, before the oblation of the holy portion and before the possession of the city, from the west side westward and from the east side eastward, and the length shall be over against one of the portions from the west border unto the east border. In the land shall be his possession in Israel, and my princes shall no more oppress my people. And the rest of the land shall they give to the house of Israel according to their tribes. Thus saith the Lord God, Let it suffice you, let it suffice you, O princes of Israel, remove violence and spoil, and execute judgment and justice. Take away your extractions from my people, saith the Lord God. Ever been to a dentist? When they remove a tooth, they call it an extraction. So evidently, uh, this is some kind of a, I guess, a tax or something. Take away your extractions from my people, saith the Lord God. Verse 10. Ye shall have just balances and a just ephah and a just bath. And we're not talking about taking a shower. Uh, if memory serves me correctly, a bath was some type of container to hold a liquid. And an ephah was some type of amount. So they want the scales to be calibrated and fair. The ephah and the bath shall be of one measure, that the bath may contain the tenth part of a homer, and no, that's not Homer Simpson. And the ephah, the tenth part of a homer, the measure thereof shall be after the homer. 
And the shekel shall be 20 geras. Uh, a shekel was actually a weight. Believe it or not, a dollar was supposed to be a weight also. Supposed to be one ounce of 90% silver was a dollar. So when you take a piece of paper and lay it on the table, uh, there's no silver and it doesn't weigh an ounce. So technically we got counterfeit money that uh, a group of private bankers are printing because you don't print silver. You mint silver, but you don't print silver. And that's with a P, print, and no, you mint with an M, silver. And the shekels shall be 20 giras, 20 shekels, 5 and 20 shekels, 15 shekels shall be your mana. This is the oblation that ye shall offer, the sixth part of an ephah of a homer of wheat. And ye shall give the sixth part of an ephah of an homer of barley. Concerning the ordinance of oil, the bath of oil, See, it's a liquid. The bath of oil, ye shall offer the tenth part of a bath out of a core, which is an omer of ten baths, for ten baths are an homer. And one lamb out of the flock, out of two hundred, out of the fat pastures of Israel, for a meat offering, and for a burnt offering, and for a peace offering, to make reconciliation for them, saith the Lord uh, God. All the people of the land shall give this oblation for the prince in Israel. And it shall be the prince's part to give burnt offerings and meat offerings and drink offerings in the feasts, in the feasts, and in the new moons, and in the Sabbaths, in all solemnities of the house of Israel. He shall prepare the sin offering and the meat offering and the burnt offering and the peace offering to make reconciliation for the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord God, In the first month, in the first day of the month, thou shalt take a young bullock without blemish and cleanse the sanctuary. 19. And the priest shall take of the blood of the sin offering and put it upon the posts of the house and upon the four corners of the settle of the altar and upon the posts of the gate of the inner court. And thou shalt do the seventh day of the month for every one that erreth, and for him that is simple, so shall ye reconcile the house. In the first month, in the fourteenth day of the month, ye shall have the Passover, a feast of seven days. Unleavened bread shall be eaten. And upon that day shall the prince prepare for himself and for all the people of the land a bullock for a sin offering. And seven days of the feast shall he prepare a burnt offering to the Lord, seven bullocks and seven rams without blemish daily for the seven days, and a kid of the goats daily for a sin offering. Isn't that funny? Goats for the sin offering. What is the symbol of the church of Satan? A goat. Oh, yeah. Goats have meanings in the Bible. Oh, yeah. And you got the sheep on the right hand and the goats on the left. And don't think that fact is lost on the goats. They know. Verse 24. And he shall prepare a meat offering of an ephah for a bullock and an ephah for a ram and a hen of oil for an ephah. A hen of oil. No, that's not Benny hen. And not holy oil either with holy laughter and slipping, sliding on the floor, wither, slithering around like a serpent, hissing and barking and whatever other weird things that they do. I don't know. Verse 25. In the seventh month and the fifteenth day of the month shall he do the like in the feast of the seven days, according to the sin offering, according to the burnt offering, and according to the meat offering, and according to the oil. Well, that's the end. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All blessing, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. 
Amen.